Many people have never heard of autism before, but for the estimated 1 million Americans who are deaf, according to Gallaudet University, autism is a part of their everyday life. Autism is when a person who is hearing thinks that they're better than a deaf person. Dr. Stephen Hardy is an American Sign Language professor at the University of Florida. He also is deaf and has experienced autism firsthand. A long time ago, I worked for Santa Fe College. I went to the foreign language department. I wanted to become an ASL teacher. My background was extensive. They hired the interpreter. Dr. Hardy is not alone. Deaf individuals often face discrimination while in the workplace, whether it be having difficulty finding a company that will provide accommodations for them or even being considered for a promotion. I always tell deaf people that we have to work three times harder than a hearing person to prove that we can manage you know, the job that we have. Job discrimination isn't the only way deaf individuals face autism. For many, being pulled over by a police officer isn't too difficult of a scenario. For those in the deaf community though, communicating with police officers during traffic stops can be altogether challenging. Even simply grabbing for a pen and paper can be mistook by officers as grabbing for a weapon. Miscommunications and interactions with police officers have had dire consequences. Daniel Harris, a deaf man from Charlotte, North Carolina, was killed during a traffic stop in August of 2016. While the district attorney released a report stating that Harris's actions were enough cause for concern for the officer to fire his weapon, Harris's death shook the deaf community. His story isn't alone. In 2012, an Ocala man by the name of Robert Kim pulled over when he had a diabetic episode. When officers arrived, Kim tried to make them aware that he was deaf and had difficulty speaking. The officers then beat and tasered Kim while he was on the ground for failing to respond to their verbal commands. Individuals in the local deaf community feel that miscommunication with police is a common problem. I feel that the police need to be trained how they can tell if a person is deaf or not. And they assume that deaf is hearing. The biggest thing is just recognizing that you're dealing with someone in the deaf community, which may present itself, uh, you know, as, as something else. GPD's public information officer Ben Tobias says communicating with deaf individuals can usually be done with pen and paper, but emphasizes that officers do like to know where your hands are. Autism will continue to be an issue, but education is a key way to combat it. The thing that we can do is try to educate people around the world not just the community. Deaf community events allow hearing people to interact with and learn from those in the deaf community. As for Dr. Hardy, he will continue his part in educating. My role is to build bridges to connect both worlds and to share understanding. And he does just that. Caitlin Bernitis, WUFT News.